Hello, ladies and gentlemen, it's S Master1755. I know who you are. You probably don't know who I am. But I am going to do another tutorial on how to install a guest operating system on your computer using VirtualBox. I've already done one doing Snow Leopard. Today we're going to be covering Windows 2000. So, first off, you're going to get the torrent file that I supplied in the um, description. And on, if you have your own copy of Windows that has a key, then you're definitely, you should use that. You don't have to download anything. But it does not take very long to download, maybe just like a minute or so. Anyway, you'll get this zip file once you download it. And um, uh, you'll get this zip and once you open it up I've already extracted the contents you'll get a ISO and the key text file make sure you unzip those cuz I don't know how well VirtualBox does when this stuff is um inside of a zip file anyway let's start off by opening up a new virtual machine and I'm gonna name it Windows 2000 and it should automatically select Windows 2000 for you once you put in the title and I just put you know it's full details SP4 service pack 4 pro because this is Windows Pro next uh, I'm gonna put a whole two gigabytes of RAM that's actually a lot for an operating system like Windows 2000 but you know <laughs> it's it's there so let's use that Anyway, I'm going to create a new virtual hard drive, obviously VDI, dynamically allocated, and I'm going to put it up to about 10 gigabytes, considering I'm really not going to do much with this, just make a tutorial, maybe use it for idle tasks. So create, and there you go. Now, settings, go in there, system, this is, yep, you're going to want to make sure that this is the chipset you got, because only Mac OS X uses this as far as I know. So make sure that's selected, and there you go. Uh, um, that's it, really. Um, oh yeah, you can put two CPUs on, but you really actually know you can't for an operating system as old as this. Anyway, next, swoop all the memory you can give it, and 3D acceleration, storage. You got your hard drive that you created in here. Pop in your, you gotta choose it. But we're going to go desktop, and there is our, wait, wait, what? <laughs> Hold on. There is our ISO. So open it up. Right there. It's in. And we're good. So just hit OK, and hit Start. Make sure your machine is selected. And hit Start. <laughs> Alright. So here we go. Our virtual machine is starting up, and you've got your familiar Windows blue screen setup. And it's starting it up. If you're on a Windows computer, then you shouldn't have any problem setting it up. I assume the same for a Mac. But, yeah, it should just start up real nice. Setup is running. And, um, yeah, so, if you want to set up Windows now, you're going to want to press Enter, which is what we want to do. And you got to press F8 to agree. And enter is install on the disk that we have right there. That's our that's our disk that we created. And hit the first one, not the second one. Make sure it's NTFS. And it will format the disk for Windows 2000. Uh, okay, so while this is going, uh, it shouldn't take long. I don't see any reason to stop the video. I'll just talk to you guys right now. If you want to check out the download link in the description, I have all the links required for this, including VirtualBox and uTorrent. To download my torrent. Uh, yep, so there you go. It's done. Checking drive. Everything's going smooth so far. And, uh, yeah. So you'll notice that it just goes on for a while, installing stuff automatically. Just let it be. Don't touch anything. And you should be fine. If you have any errors, as always, please PM me. I will try to get back to you as soon as possible. And I will hopefully fix any of your problems. If you need any additional help, you should search around, you search around YouTube and Google. They're usually really easy to understand so, uh, tutorials. Anyway, my computer will reboot. Now, this is crucial, guys. You don't want to screw this up. When it reboots, you might have to reboot the machine itself. If you don't, then that's good. I don't think I will have to, but... Uh, yeah. Remove disk. I think. 
Wait. Yeah. You remove the disk from the drive, hit reset machine, and now you've got your... There you go. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Okay. And there's our Windows 2000 Professional. That was really easy. Uh, so this is an old operating system. It goes pretty fast because it's so small. And, um, yeah, I don't even see a reason that we should have to skip most of the installation process. So here we go, we got our Windows loading screen. Alright guys, I am sorry for the confusion. Uh, I was mistaken, all you had to do was pop the disk that we took out earlier right back into the drive once it had booted up. So make sure you get your Windows Pro Service Pack 4 in the disk drive for this step. And you should be good. And it's installing our devices as a Windows computer should. And I will assume that the CD key is coming up next. I'm sorry, guys, if I'm a little bit rusty during this installation. But, yeah, you really don't have to watch much from here if you know how to install a Windows PC. I'm just going to guide you through it if you're a Mac user. You're not, you're not used to this setup or something. So, yeah, just... I'll guide you through that. If you don't need it, then you might as well just exit right now. But before you do, please check out most of my other videos on YouTube, as I'm looking for subscribers, considering that I have a very low amount at the moment. But that does not discourage me, and I'm willing to put out content almost every other day. And yeah, so as this loads, we shall talk about Miyachi and computers and video games and other things that make life sweet and li worth living. So yeah, I'm just gonna leave you guys here. This might take a while. Alright, and I'm back. Um, Windows 3000 setup is now up on the screen, and I'm English and United States, so obviously I'm not gonna change this. US keyboard, yada yada yada. Next, so my name is Simon. And my organization is Poop or YouTube Poop. If you don't know what that is, then please get off my channel right now. I do not like you if you don't know what YouTube Poop is. It's the most hilarious shit on YouTube anywhere. <laughs> so look it up. Next, 25 character product key. This is where our key comes in. We've got our jigger here. I don't remember if we can copy and paste this. No, you cannot. Okay, so, fun. We get to do the whole code by hand. Yay. <laughs> oh, jeez. Okay. Make sure caps lock is on so you put everything by default caps. So, DT. Alright, there we go. Next. My computer name will not be Poop. It will be Sir Johnson Turd Fart. Administrator password. Do something that I always put for mine. Next. Yeah, I will not. I will use my non-standard underscores because it's boss. Okay. Well, it changed it to Sir Johnson Tur, so I guess that's okay. I guess Sir Johnson Ass Bagels will have to wait until my next tutorial. Uh, anyway, this looks like it's about right for me. Mm hmm Okay. Typical custom settings. I recommend that you use typical settings, but you can use custom if you feel like you need to check everything before you do stuff. And, uh, yeah, I don't need that. So, hit and stun the Kajigers! It'll take a couple minutes. Alright, it looks like we're done. Um, now that we're done, we can just hit finish. And it will restart the machine. Uh, once again, please eject the disk. And hit reset again. 
because if you don't then it will restart from the disk and then you'll have it'll want you to do the setup again which you don't need to do so here we go starting it up and this time we should be brought instead of a setup screen to a wonderful 16-bit color Windows 2000 crap so yeah uh, this really is a novelty toy that you that you should be using for Windows 2000 <laughs> I mean it's really not a work thing you may, you might as well just get Windows XP or Vista or 7 if you want to be doing some work because this thing really doesn't do anything so my username is Simon my password is what my password is but well, actually I want, I want to use administrator okay putting in my usual password next finish it up shika pow get the sweet windows login noise I don't know why they took that away that's the one thing that I missed from windows old windows it's that awesome noise so we're done we don't need this start we know how to use this mister wizard and there you go your really crappy old system is up and running connect to the internet oh how do I do that oh uh, I'm gonna use my telephone line okay so yeah thank you guys I, no don't show no go away so okay thank you for checking out this tutorial and please feel free to ask me any questions during when you're installing this and I will be sure to help so thank you guys once again and goodbye